Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. So today I have something really awesome and that is an unrateable bolt. So it is not completely unrateable. Of course, if someone has a TNT cannon that is shooting directly at it, it is going to destroy it, but that has to be hybrid. But this is more of an anti-creeper vault, and of course, if they're inside your base, there's no way they're going to be able to TNT cannon it. So it is pretty much unrateable. And also, there are tons of fancy things about this too. Not only is it unrateable and it's regening wall, so the cobblestone, if they somehow break it, it will just regenerate. And the great thing about this is you don't have to break the cobblestone every time you want to access the chest. You can just use a lever to push up the cobblestone and look through to see, to open all your chests. And there's like 14 double, 7 double chests in total in there. You can expand this, you can build multiple ones of these, but it is really, really cool and really, really strong. And I'd highly advise using it, and I am definitely going to be using it. So that's one thing about this. Uh, also, completely off topic, but I, today I've got my GTX 970, which is great for me personally, because um, I started Minecraft and it was running at like 700 frames per second, which is absurd. And when I put in F1, just looking at this, it got over a thousand, which is honestly mental for me. So, of course, I only set it to 240 frames per second now, but it does mean my computer can run a lot smoother now that I've got a new graphics card in here. As you probably know, my R9 290, which is a slightly less powerful AMD video card, uh, broke on me the other day, or like a month ago, as soon as I got the computer. So I was running integrated graphics on this, and as you've probably seen, my latest Factions episode was using integrated graphics, and it's not that great. But now I won't have frame rate issues anymore, and I'm thinking in the future of doing 60 FPS videos, but that means it'll be twice the file size, and my internet's horrible anyway, and 90% of the time I go down to my mother's house anyway, so I can upload videos anyway, because her internet's a lot faster. It's not too much faster, but it's a lot faster than here. And it's crazy trying to upload anything here. So lucky for everyone that has bloody megabyte downtime. I get like 200, 300 kilobyte downtime. Not fun. But anyway, back to this thing. This thing is really strong, and I'm going to show you how to use it, and how to how good it is, and just the mechanics behind it, and how it works, what you should do, just pretty much all the things that you should do if you're building some kind of vault inside your base, if it's full of chests. And even if someone somehow gets inside your base or insiding, no one, they won't even be able to touch the vault. So it's really, really important to have stuff like this in your base. So let's have a look at it. So now I've got a bunch of creeper eggs here and as you can see if we place down a bunch of creepers and this one just chilling there from when I was testing earlier. But as you can see if I blow up all these creepers here they will do absolutely nothing. <laughs> they will do absolutely nothing to this whether it's on the top or the side or wherever it may be. And of course it's obsidian in a normal game mode but with this is cobble obsidian whatever it is it's a wall wall so nothing can get past it of course. But this isn't even the best part of this. Uh, this cobblestone is regenerating. There's lava behind here, and if they somehow destroy this, then it'll still create cobblestone because there's two lava layers, so that's great. But the best part, in my opinion, is when you activate this, you come up here and all these pistons open up, as you can see slightly. And you may not be able to see it, but where my cross here thing is, there are chest here. So you can open these up when you are here and of course anyone else who's in your base if you have chests open on your server like that they can be open they can but when you're done you can just flip the lever and then no one can touch you not even people in your base unless they have like claim land where you are or something depending on your faction but as you can see this is super effective and also one thing to point out is you can have this lever anywhere but the issue is if you put in some spots like the reason I have it here is there is redstone uh, on this layer here, and then this repeaters going into a block. So there are no chests or anything down here. So if they, someone sees this ear po pocket here, if they see an ear pocket here, and they place a creeper down here, and use it to blow it up, or somehow get in the top block, and then it blows up here, then it will actually blow up that obsidian, but it won't blow up anything around it, and the water will still come down, and there's still obsidian all around it, even if they get rid of this front part. So of course you will have to rebuild that, but it does mean that no one will be raiding you. So that is a massive plus. So as you can see, this thing is absolutely great, and there is nothing really too bad with this. 
nothing really that's too wrong. And of course, like I said, if they have a TNT cannon, it might be an issue. But of course, they'll be shooting in your base from a particular angle. And no doubt you'll have this either on the very edge of your base or something where they can't get it. And if they're super lucky that they actually have it perfectly aligned, that's good for them. But the chances of that are like one in a million or a hundred or something crazy. But anyway, they'll just be annoyed when they come to your base and see you have one of these things that they've just wasted a stack of creeper eggs trying to get into it. So anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. So now onto the tutorial. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some building blocks. I'd recommend that it's obsidian because that's just a much tougher resource or material. And on my server specifically, it takes four hits to destroy obsidian. So that makes it four times stronger than a normal block. And this one, obsidian is a lot denser than this, so it's like ten times stronger than dirt. So just a wee tip, but you don't have to use obsidian if it's side your base. It's probably going to be pretty protected anyway. And this is really good protection. It will still be anti-creeper egg anyway. So it'll be essentially unraidable, but I just recommend obsidian because it looks cooler and it's just stronger in case. So you can either use that or that. And also the area is going to be 9 by 7 and this is just the main area of the actual vault itself. You're going to need an area around it unless you have it against a wall, but I'd still recommend that you have this outer area where the water can flow down to. And I just have one more layer which is slabs and stone pressure plates so the water doesn't go anywhere. So what you're going to need for this is 7 sticky pistons, 7 repeaters, 7 redstone, a lever, a ton of water, and lava and then of course your chests and trap chests and also if you are only going to make this for like five chests for say then you only need five redstone five repeaters five sticky pistons etc so it's pretty much just how how many pist double chests you're going to have ta how many double chests you're going to have of stuff and then you'll just whatever that number is you'll times it by these free resources and that's how much you'll need but of course if it's higher than the 16 then you have to do some repeater magic and probably morph the design slightly but honestly i'd make these in blocks so if you're going to make it like 16 max and i make one and then another and another so that way they can't if they somehow raid one by having perfectly placed tnt cannons that they can't get rid of the rest so just just an idea also if you're wondering about this indent this is just if you're going to place the lever the air this is just for my design you do not have to have it there it's just an idea so the first thing you're going to be doing is making a 2x7 area that is in front of your little dip here and then you want to this is going to be your main bit where your redstone is so you're going to want to have your repeaters they can be set on whatever tick delay you want i just leave them on one because it's a lot easier and then to keep off things simple we're going to place our normal block here and have our lever underneath so this is just in context if we are going to have it so the next important thing is we're going to put blocks on the back of it like so and the reason for this is because this is where all the this is because we're going to put sticky pistons on top so you can either place your cobblestone on now or let it gen later which i will do because i do not have cobblestone on me so this is where it's going to be and this will be your cobblestone will be and this will be the block above it so this is the main redstone bit it's really the main component and since your cobblestone is going to be at this layer we can then make two blocks behind this we can place one here and two more here and you can either have it below or above so what I mean by that is we're going to have our chests along this area here. So if we make this 2x7, we can then grab our chests and double chests and start placing them along here. Oh, I just got rid of it. So you place your chest, double chests here and then you would have your trap chests in the middle. And then later on we're going to place lava on top of all this. So this is all we're going to need. So the only extra space we're going to need is along here. So now we want to make a casing for it. Also, if you want to have enough space and have your lava gene a different way you can make a shell above it but i personally don't like that but some servers have a glitch where the lava the cobblestone doesn't generate and actually causes obsidian but if you're doing this on a normal server it should be completely fine so now all we're going to be doing is making a case you can make this resource efficient you can make this look look nice but i'm just going to be doing it in a very resource efficient way and all we have to do is make a really tiny shell around it like so and if you can tell my shift keys, <laughs> I changed my um, shift key or my sneak key. So all we need to do is make a very simple shell pretty much round all of your components. This is a very simple shell and after you've built this, you just need to make sure it covers everything. For along here, you do not actually need these two inner blocks, but I recommend having them there as it actually makes sure that you can't, that no one can stick something in there because it's really hard to get water to go in that small place into small places 
So now that we've done this, we're just going to fill up the edges like so, and then you only want these two blocks on the top to be covered, but I'm going to leave the rest open for now until we do this. And then you do not want this front space open, you essentially want this front space left open. You can remove these blocks if you want, but now let's do the rest. So now if we just get our trap chests and place them in here like so, now you can access your chest and you want to make sure that you have everything set up properly beforehand. So now what I'd recommend doing for this is placing out your cobble. You can place lava either in two spots or just the back, it doesn't really matter as long as the lava flows everywhere. But you do want to make sure that it does not go past here or else it's a pain to clean up. And I'm not listening to myself. So as you can see, all we need this, and now that's completely covered, and if we go down here and flick the lever, we can see that we can see the chest and we can stand here and just grab our stuff and be on our way, and when we're done, we can flick it up. So now this is pretty much done, and all you have to do now is fill up everything with water. The most important thing I would say for here is to corner is to water your corners because if you do not water your corners then of course people will still raid you because creeper eggs still can hit your side so there are several ways that you can actually do this my favorite way is to just stick a block like this and then cover up the very sides and this is what I do on the most thing of course I'm doing this super wrong but I'll show you what I mean when I'm actually finished but as you can see we have got one corner watered like so so this corner will be watered and of course I want to do this one and I'd recommend that you just have all the space actually filled up with water so now quickly for example let's say we have this corner we can just do this but now if I want to get it that high you can just place a block here place a block here and it'll water the corner just fine and then you can just get rid of this so this is the way I preferably like to do things uh, it can be a tad bit time consuming to actually water all your corners, but it is worth it as you will have everything sorted. So now that you've done this, you have everything completed and you have now got yourself an unraidable vault. This thing is quite big, but there's are tons of ways you can make this smaller. Uh, the first thing I'd recommend doing is if you are getting rid of the redstone, to actually put blocks on top of here, just so, just cause, because that way it's a lot easier. You have to mine this, of course, but it, it's... In my opinion, it's just much better because that way it's just a tiny bit more secure and somehow they TP glitch or something. Uh, and then you just have to get rid of this big chunk bit at the front and then you've taken away two blocks. But of course, we don't want that. We want redstone. We want everything to be awesome. We want everything to be automated. We don't want to have to mine it and then somehow perfectly time our click so we can open our chest. And then you realize you're in the wrong chest, so you have to open the other chest. And that is not fun. So this is this. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps, and it just shows you to support me. And if you like to see all these videos, faction, TNT, base sort of building stuff, then subscribe. I'll do free videos a week. But anyway, goodbye from...